Nicky, uh, it's relatively early days, but we're not too far away now from the, uh, from the King George, and uh, we've seen a few of your, your intended runners in the race. We'll start, if we can, with Long Run. How's he come out of uh, his Haydock excursion? Haydock, no good form. And I mean, I think that's the relevant thing because last year it was a thumping hard race. He was, he was very tired. He and Corto Star got into a, well, we got into a battle with Corto Star rather sooner than we probably should have done. And consequently, I think he, he got a very hard race. And this time last year, three days after his race, I think he was still feeling pretty sorry for himself. This year, you could say the race hasn't quite gone according to, uh, you know, a better gallop would have helped him. But the only good thing about Ruby's just dictated and he's he's controlled the race to suit himself. But that, in a funny way, suits us in a way because at least we haven't had that hard race. It wasn't a, you know, it wasn't a headlong head-to-head. -head. We got in a battle up the straight, the other horse beat us, but we haven't got a very hard race. Constantly he's come back in really good form. Were there discussions before the race about maybe making the running with long run? Sam and I'd sort of, I'd said to Sam, if, 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 if nobody was, if there wasn't, a, you know, at the time I didn't know what Silviano Conti was going to do, but um, if, he, if nobody wanted to go on, I wouldn't mind him lobbing along quietly on his own. It wouldn't, it wouldn't worry me at all. He does a lot of work in front at home, schools on his own. Um, he'd be very happy to be in front, to be honest with you. What did you make of his round of jumping at Haydock? I think he was, I mean, a, a little bit. He was a bit fresh early on. He was just, I mean, again, um, he could tidy up a bit. Do you think that was just a case of dusting away the cobwebs? Well, possibly. From... He's, been, he's been really good at home, actually. Um, what do you make of the competition this year? Sylvia Nacco Conti's obviously burst on the scene. There are a few other smart young horses coming through. Long runs task this season. It's never easy in those races. No, it never is. And, and, but, you know, he, he's still there and he's still in very good form. He's run a good race. Um, you'd like to think that a, a, a truly run King George, and you'll always get a good pace in a King George. You should do. Um, that would suit him better than the other day. Better ground would always help. But... Um, you know, with that in mind, I think as a, as a, as a sort of, let's say as a prep race, because it's actually worth more than the King George. So you can hardly sort of be calling it your prep race. But, um, you know, as, as such, it was, it was a satisfactory Come start. Back yeah. Are you of the, of, of, of the opinion that he is still the one they've got to beat in that division? I don't say he's the one they've got to beat, but he's, he's, he's still one of the big players. And... Um, He's done it, <laughs> which is more than now with Corto not there. Um, he's, he's the one horse that has won it, and again and a Gold Cup as well. He does seem to have relaxed slightly as the years have gone by. Would that be a fair assessment? I think he's sort of matured a bit, and he's got a bit more sort of laid back about life. Yeah, I think he has. In terms of your other runners in the race, we've seen Riverside Theatre, and he's been kept fresh for the race. He's obviously very talented, as we know. Uh, intention to go to the King George without a prep run? Yeah, it might, well, to a lot of people it might sound very odd, but you've only got to look at his profile and his history and you see that he won the Ascot Chase last year and that was 365 days before he'd won it the year before without a run because he got injured. Um, he is obviously very good fresh, he is very fit, he, he, to be honest, he's ready to run now. We've always said we would do it this way and we even need sort of contemplated saying he might only have two runs all season might sound silly but his his form off those big breaks is terrific <laughs> absolutely yeah it's first class and he's always good like that so you know i mean he wasn't as good in the Ryanair as he was in the ascot chase and by the time he got to liverpool he was definitely over the top altogether so we just decided that might be the sensible way to do it, and that is the plan. I mean, he certainly won't run before it. The Kenton flat track right off the street. That's what he wants. Like, he loves it. I mean, sometimes you say he doesn't enjoy Cheltenham, um, but then he didn't enjoy Aintree either, so you can, that's about as flat as you get. But, um, no, we're going to go straight there. He was second in it to long run two years ago, and that was a seriously good performance. Are you mindful of the fact that, given the way he was able to win at Cheltenham, it might not be the course for him, although, albeit he was able to win in, in thrilling fashion. 
that Cheltenham, is it in the back of your mind that he doesn't bring his best at, at a course like Cheltenham? Yeah, although, you know, it was quite close. He'd had a year off and then he'd had only one race three weeks before Cheltenham. You might say that we were on a bounce factor or anything you like. Um, he just, he probably wants really good gaps between his races. So we're giving him a really good gap. And there's a potential for Finian's Rainbow to run in the race. What did you make of his run at Ascot recently? Was it just simply a case of the ground? Well, Barry it? says it's ground and we can't find anything else wrong with him. So in which case, we're just going to have to assume it was. Um, otherwise, what are we going to do next? Um, I definitely don't want to come back to two miles for the time being. Um, we just got to hope for some better ground. You'd like to think that Kempton have got a chance of having better ground. It wasn't any better yesterday. But on the other hand, will it ever dry up? It doesn't feel like it. Um, if it was this, you know, if it was going to be heavy ground, you'd have to say, well, what on earth's the point of doing that again? But Certainly not a case of, of losing faith in the horse. <laughs> no. I mean, that was a bitterly disappointing performance on uh, Ascot and... Um, I can only say that, as I say, I can't see any reason for it, in which case you know, we just got to take it forwards and, and it wouldn't stop us having a go, no. Three different profiles of the horses that you, you're intending on running at this stage, but once again a strong team for the King George. Yeah, I think it, you know, it's a strong team. <laughs> that, that you could, they've all got chances or you can pick holes in them, you can take it any way you like.